So as simple as it sounds, the way that I want everyone to start thinking about their golf swing is basically just a matchup of elements that either will steepen your pattern or shallow it out. Now the golfers that come to me that struggle the most with their ball flight, in my opinion, they typically will fall into one extreme or the other. The recreational golfer, the weekend golfer will have too many steepening elements into their swing and they're trying to add ones to shallow it out to neutralize that tendency. And then a lot of times the better players, they have too many shallowing elements meaning too many elements that work the club too far from inside out, work the club too shallow with the attack angle, and you're trying to find ways to steepen it. So what are some of those key elements that we will look at that are like easy to spot for the everyday golfer that we can start to look into? Number one would be the hand depth. So what would be steeper hand depth would be a pattern where the arm plane is more upright. A shallower hand depth would be a pattern where the arm plane is a lot flatter. Obviously, if my hands are a lot more behind me, it becomes a lot easier to swing from the inside of the golf ball. My hands are a lot more upright. That's a much steeper pattern. It becomes a lot easier to swing from the outside. So if you're an everyday golfer and you're looking at your pattern and your arm plane is very, very upright, you might want to try to shallow that out by getting the hands more in. So you're taking a steeper pattern and you're offsetting it with a shallower one. What we'll see as a reaction from a lot of these golfers is if the arm plane starts to get too tall, Right? Well, naturally, this is a huge, steeper element to bring into the golf swing. You're going to add a shallower one as a compensation. What would that be? It could be some form of early extension, which shallows you out. It can be a lot of tilting back and side bending, which shallows you out. Think of what the reaction at the bottom of the swing is actually trying to accomplish, right? That's how you can actually figure out where the root cause of your problems are going to start to work into. Meaning if you have a lot of shallowing compensations at impact, odds are it's because there's too many steeper elements in your golf swing. That could be a lack of hand depth. That could be the shaft pitch is just coming down too steep and the club head is not dropping enough behind you. There's a lot of different ways to work on it. But if you can actually start to pick apart the more macro visuals, meaning the hand depth, the shaft movement, the face angle, right? If the face angle is open, it creates a lot of loft. You're going to swing very over the top to try to de-loft it and square the face up. That is a steep reaction, right, to a problem that's happening earlier. So. When you're looking at compensations at the bottom, understand that they are in reaction to something. And just as simple as it sounds, understand that the golf swing is a combination of steeper elements, shallower elements. Your goal is just to find the right combination that work. A lot of times, the reason why my preferences are to get golfers' arm planes a little deeper, especially for the everyday golfers, get the club a little bit more shallow, is because these are shallowing elements that can allow you to then rotate more on top of the golf ball rotating more on top of the golf ball is a steeper move, right? So to add a steeper element into your golf swing and not get too steep, you need shallowing elements to offset it. The golf swing in reality is that simple.